If you are not challenged, you can't change. Si vous n'êtes pas défié, vous ne pouvez pas changer. And God uses others to challenge us. Et le Seigneur utilise les autres pour nous mettre en défi. Si. Regarde. So much is being said here. Beaucoup est en train de se passer ici. Catch it. Il faut attraper. Catch it. Capte. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to bring my friend here, Dr. Je vais, Thomas Malton. Je vais amener mon ami ici, le Dr. Thomas Malton. To deposit something into our hearts. Pour déposer quelque chose dans nos cœurs. As we look forward to the repositioning of the 21st century church. En regardant la repositionnement de l'église du 21 e siècle. With a club offering to the Lord, I invite. Avec un offrande et l'applaudissement. The man of God. Il faut accueillir l'homme de Dieu. Dr. Thomas Malton. Le Dr. Thomas. Come on, celebrate Jesus. S'il vous plaît, applaudissez pour lui, s'il vous plaît. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate le Seigneur Jésus. Celebrate le Seigneur Jésus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Can we stand up for one second and just lift our hands to God just for a minute? Est-ce qu'on peut se mettre debout pour une seconde et lever nos mains à Dieu? When God speaks in the first person. Quand le Seigneur parle au premier personne. It's a very sacred thing. And lift your hands to the Lord. Shaka de Sondo Varatalabasheto. The favor of God is falling on his elect in this hour like I have not seen in a long, long time. God said he's going to begin to look for vessels that he can fill with his power and his glory. He's going to begin to raise them up to be voices to the nations. And many of you, even you listening, wherever you're hearing this message, have been veiled over by some thing that kept you back. And the Lord said, this is the day of your unveiling. Lift your hands, everybody. The day of your unveiling. I'm peeling off the veil. I'm taking it off. And you're going to begin, yeah, the power of God's fallen here. You're going to begin to see the breakthrough. The Lord says, get ready. For I'm about to do something new. The Lord said, this is going to be the day of mega expansion in my kingdom for my churches, for my people, for my leaders. Because millions and millions and millions of people need to be discipled. And God said, they're all out there, but you've not reached them yet. Why? Because... You're still wrestling with all these little inner issues in your world. God says, I'm breaking all of them. The Lord says, I'm fixing things. Come on, give the Lord a praise if you want to do it. It's all right. I'm fixing things for you. Many have done all they can do, but the Lord says, I have to do the things that you cannot do for yourself. That's my job now to begin to do things for you that you couldn't do for yourself. Lift your hands high. Psalm 121 says, look up to the hills from whence cometh your help. Your help comes from the Lord. He said in Isaiah 45, verse 1, he'll break open the gates of iron and bronze and brass and evil and cause you to inherit treasures. The treasures are for what? They're so you can build my kingdom around the world. So you can advance my orders around the earth. The Lord says, Many things don't get done just because of lack of provisions. But the Lord said, if I've given you a vision, surely I'm going to give you the provision. I am Jehovah Jireh. <laughs> don't ever forget I'm your provider. Don't ever forget I'm the Lord your God who causes you to prosper and increase and be blessed and to flourish and to have much so that you can do much. One of the definitions in the Hebrew word yire or gyra was this. I am the father, your overseer, who sees your future and will see to it that it happens. I am the father who sees your future and will see to it that it happens. You know, like Jeremiah 29, 11 talks about that. I know the plans that I have for you. Say next. What did he say next? plans to prosper you, not to harm you, that you can reach your expected end or your destination. The vision I gave is not a small thing. Go ahead and give the Lord praise right now. I feel the Spirit of the Lord. 
rising up in the hearts of people. The vision I gave you, says the Lord, was not a small thing. In fact, it's a very big thing. So now I have to do some things for you that you can't do for yourself. Do you receive the word of the Lord? God is going to work in your life, behind the scenes, in every way, all through us, dealing with our finances, our resources, our relationships, our connections, our uh, able being making us able to do so many more things. Why? Because the time is short. Talk about a reposition. I tell you, God gave the first position. And if we ever got put back in any way, now we need to re a step forward and take the position again. That's the position. The position is that you are the boss of your world, him and you together. What did Genesis 1:26 say? I want you to have dominion. That you take dominion over all the earth. Lift your hands. <laughs> We're kings. You ladies are queens. And your babies are princes and princesses. We're royalty. That's the first foundation. God made us his royal in his own image after his own likeness. We're his royal ambassadors. So what's the problem? The problem is the image of the identity that we have in Christ has been messed up by the evils of this world. Poverty was never from God. It's a, it's a result of the broken law. It's a curse, really. And the devil tries to play it out on people. Sickness was never from God. Weakness was never from God. He only wants us to be strength, strong and walking in his strength. Revelation 5.12 said, Jesus took back from the prince of darkness who came to usurp Adam's authority, and he did it, and Jesus took it back. His keyboard a little softer, please, a little softer, because I'm, you're competing with me now. Don't do that. The musician is always supposed to assist, not to be at the same. You can have your blessed seats, all right. Yeah. Unless you want to stand up, it's okay. Hallelujah. <laughs> so the devil, the devil took authority. He took it, but Jesus took it back. Revelation 5.12 says the Lamb of God took it back. Po what? Power and riches and wisdom and strength. Say that with me, power and riches and wisdom and strength. Say it, power and riches and wisdom and strength so that we can have the glory, honor, and blessing manifested in us that we can take dominion. Lift your hands. It's your job to take dominion over everything that's trying to hurt you. All right, thank you. You can interpret. When I start to prophesy, just give me a, a minute. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. No, no, go, come on, come on. Because the Lord's going to speak in a minute. Something really powerful. You got to get your, re, your original position back. Yeah, yeah, that's the repositioning. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's the repositioning. Apostle, that's the repositioning. To take the stand back in the identity of Christ on earth. Because no devil can, can, can withstand me. I'm from the lion of the tribe of Judah. <laughs> and the lion fears no one. <laughs> Come on, the lion fears no one. Le lion n'a peur de personne. Lift your hands up. Say, Lord, Le empower me. Et, et de, de, de empower me. Renforcez moi. All right, now I'm going to prophesy. Hold on. The Lord says, these are the days now when I'm going to begin to advance my elect servants very quickly with great speed and great acceleration because the time is short. And did I not say, even the Lord Jesus himself, did I not say, says the Lord, that you got to work while it's day because the night is coming when no man can work anymore. When the day is over, it's over. You can't go back and redo anything. So the Lord says the time is now. You got to rise up now. I prophesy that within a few weeks from now, 
just a few days and a few weeks from now, you that are listening to me are going to rise up with something new going on in your world because the Lord has fixed something for you. And you're going to begin to see the deposit of heaven. You're going to begin to see the deposit of the power of God. And you're going to go forth with boldness. Now, Father, I break all witchcraft. Interpreter, come and say this. I break all witchcraft. Je brief tout maladie, tout, uh, tout every, sorcellerie. every word that's been spoken against me. Tout, uh, I overturn it and send it back to the sender. I will not be the recipient of anything evil. I do not accept the packages sent by the devil. I don't experience any shame, any harm, any sickness, any lack. Those are not for me. Tout cela ne m'appartient pas. Father, I break them right now of your people. Père, j'ai pris cela au nom de Jésus. And put a fresh anointing of fire upon them. Et je les mets un fresh, un feu fraîche sur eux maintenant. Right here in this place. À ce moment précis. I'm going to prophesy again. Je vais prophétiser encore. This is fun. This is fun. This is fun. This is a lot of fun. Lift your hands. The Lord says, get ready, my chosen people, for I'm going to raise things up on the continent of Africa. The Lord says the airwaves are going to be busy with my messages going forth in the airwaves. The Lord says television media, television production, satellite, radio, all kinds of printing, journalism, broadcasting. The Lord says it's a short time. I want to reach hundreds and hundreds of millions, even billions of people, even within a short time. And the Lord says I'm going to put my hand on some to go into media. Lift your hands if that's you. It, into, into broadcasting the message and the gospel to the masses of people. God says, you can't reach them on the ground fast enough, so I'm going to have it go through the air. <laughs> and if you want to beat the prince of the power of the air, put the power of God in the air. Come on, somebody. If you want to beat the devil at his own game, take over the airwaves. I'm going to pour millions of dollars in as of my servant, says the Lord. Millions of dollars. Oh, yes. So that you can produce what I want to all the nations of the earth in a very short time. God says, whatever you need for your work, lift your hands right now. Let's pray as I'm about to finish in a minute or so. I, I, I want to pray for you that you can receive what you need and want. It's okay to desire something, you know? Because Mark 11:24 said what? Mark 11:24 said, "The things that you desire when you're praying, believe you receive them and you will have them." God didn't say, "I won't give them to you." John 15:7 said, "If you as you abide in me and my words abide in you, you'll ask for what you will and it will be done for you. You'll have it. I'll give it to you." The Lord says, Job 36:11. I want you to spend your days in prosperity and pleasure. Why? Because you're serving me. And what do we need that for? So we can do everything he wants us to do. You, God doesn't want you to be limited. All limitations are giving, being broken. Right now, in Jesus' name. Lift your hands right now. The anointing is here. Hora shaka. If you're a preacher, come stand here. Come stand here. The fire is falling right now. If you're a preacher and you want to be used mightily of God, now come stand here. Where's the photographers? Are you taking some pictures, anybody? Someone with your phones, take some photos of this, because I want, I want to document this to show it to the devil. I want to show this to the devil. I, I, I want to show this to the devil. That's why. And say, you thought you had these people. You thought you could stop them. But the Lord never allowed it. God says, new fire is coming upon you right now. Someone take a photograph of this and see me afterwards. I want the, I want the picture of this. Because I want the devil to see who he couldn't stop. Here comes the fire right now. Release the fire right now, Lord. Right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now, right now. 
I don't have to scream. I don't want to scream. I want to just speak it softly. But the anointing is falling here. Receive it right now. Receive a new commission, a new impartation, a new touch, a new realm of his power. Some of you are going to be prophets. Some of you are going to be raised up as great evangelists. Some of you are going to have the biggest churches in your cities. Some of you are going to be apostles. Some of you are going to be great teachers. God says the anointing is increasing in you from this meeting and this conference. Father, we thank God for your beloved son, Apostle Dr. Edda, for pulling these people together from near and far. And Lord, the Lord says you're going back with an impartation from the Lord. And God says, Matthew 11, 12, get aggressive and take it by force. Be like Abraham, whatever he saw, the Lord says, it's yours. God says, I'm tired of seeing you waiting and crying. The Lord says, rise up now. Because it's going to begin to move for you as you move. I was sitting over here for some time and I was getting some revelations for myself. For our ministry. And one thing the Lord said to me says, as you move, I'll move. He said, don't be afraid. Take the big step. Walk in faith, not by sight. And as you step, God will step with you. If you stay here, nothing will happen. But as you begin to walk, come on, somebody. Oh, hallelujah. 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 And you'll begin to experience his favor and his power as you move forward. I see great evangelists and crusades. I see multiplied thousands that you can't count coming. I see churches exponentially increasing in growth. I see people speaking to nations. God says, I'm elevating you. And the Lord said, let, let me prophesy. The Lord said to me, he said, this is the day of elevation and promotion for my people. That's a repositioning, wouldn't you say? I said, that's a repositioning, wouldn't you say? I said, that's a repositioning, yes? He's elevating you. Lift your hands up Elevation and promotion are coming from me, says the Lord. Watch the signs from today. Interpreter, hold it a minute. Watch. The Lord says, watch as I promote you now. Watch for signs that will come, that will be astounding, that you'll say, God, did you really just do this? I was waiting and crying so long. The Lord says, I've seen your tears. I've seen your, the pain of your heart. I've seen the attacks. I've seen the persecution. I've seen the limitations. The enemy tried to always throw up a problem. I saw it. I saw it. I saw everyone. But the Lord says, I'm not looking at that. I'm looking at your victory. I'm looking at you moving forward. And that's what I want to see now. Lift your hands and receive the touch of heaven. The Lord says, get ready. Get ready, get ready, get ready, because you're advancing now. The Lord says, nothing shall stand in your way. I hear the Lord saying, forward march, like the military, like in the army, march forward. Just begin to walk. Begin to take that step, and you're going to begin to see what God has ordained for you. Hallelujah. But if you stay back and stay home, nothing happens. Here's another word I want to say to you. The Lord says, get out of your house. Get out of your house and go out to different places. Find a beautiful garden and sit there and have a cup of tea or coffee and meditate and pray outside, outside. Don't stay in the building all the time. Go out in the land and look and dream. It's, it's very positive to do that. Find a beautiful hotel that's a five-star. Go sit there and just find a garden outside and just sit there and pray there. And God will talk to you about movement. Nothing changes when you stay home. 
everything changes when you move. Some of you are going to start to do some great things online. The Lord says, I'm going to raise up your thing to begin to teach people across the internet. And you're going to have many followers, many viewers. It's going to really work. And you're going to meet many people that will love you from afar. You'll love them from afar. You couldn't meet them where you were. They weren't near your house. They weren't near your town, but they're out there somewhere. Go find them. God says, as you walk, I'll walk with you. And the Lord says, we get ready for great provision, economic breakthrough. Come on, lift your hands right now. I'm anointed for this. Let me tell you, there's an anointing on me for this, an anointing on my life for this. Economic breakthrough, says the Lord. You're going to begin to see my fire help you with everything that you need. All the debts you have need to be paid off. I prophesy to the debts of anything, even this conference, even you and your homes, even you and your lives, your businesses, your families, become debt free. God's going to help you. And the Lord says money's going to flow like a river. For what purpose? That you can advance his kingdom in Jesus' name. <laughs> Give the Lord a hand of praise. I, I, I'm not finished, but maybe my time is gone. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give Jesus a hand of praise. He's the Alpha and the Omega. He's the beginning and the end. He's the bright and the morning star. He's the everlasting Father. He's the bishop and overseer of our souls. He's the Rose of Sharon. He's the Lily of the Valley. He's the fairest of 10,000. He's the, he's the Lion of the tribe of Judah. He who begun a good work in you will perform it. He who started something great in your life and ministry and business or whatever you're doing will perform it. He's going to help you. Do you receive that prophecy? He's going to help you now. Get ready for it. All right. All right. I'm Thomas Manton IV. Uh, thank you. I love you all. Do you love me? Can you blow me a kiss? Oh, I feel the love. I feel can, can we give Jesus one? Can we give Jesus one? Rose of Sharon, mighty God. We love you. All right, I'll see you again. I love you so much. Dr. Etta. Dr. Etta. Thank you, sir. Merci, merci.